Hi guys, welcome to my channel, uh, SAP Careers and Job Seekers Group. Uh, let's talk today about what a business analytics person does or a data analyst does and what do they really do in the SAP world, right? So I've not talked about this topic in the past. So let's talk about data analytics and business intelligence. So a data analyst, as the name says, focuses on data, right? So there are two kinds of data, master data, transactional data, and the third one, if I would talk about is configuration data. So con configuration, the framework data, for example, if you're looking at a work document, the template that is there for a word is called configuration data. However, when you enter from and to, uh, to whom you are sending the letter of where the letter is going, that's master data. The content of what you write inside the letter is called transactional data. The difference between master and transactional data is master data is normally static and does not change as frequently as the transactional data and the transactional data changes with every transactional. Now the transactional data also has a unique ID uh, which we call as information record and that information record differentiates the transactional data by two things, it, by the information record number and by the timestamp. For example, if you go to a dollar store, you could uh, have multiple times uh, the same dollar transaction, but what differentiates is the information record number and the timestamp that is there on the receipt. So that's the difference between master and transactional data. Now the configuration that I already told you is framework data, right? So if you have a container, the container itself is a framework, you have a from and to, which is from, uh, let's say a business to another business or from a customer to a vendor or from a material uh, pickup to a plant. So, uh, or from an employee to another employee or employee to a business partner. So those from and to would be the master data and those are normally static. They do not really change very frequently. Transactional data that I told you changes very, very frequently and it is timestamped and information record and timestamp differentiates it. So you get an idea of what the data types are. The third thing which is important to know about the data is the metadata aspect. So the metadata aspect has uh, is the headers of a column that you do which data sets or uh, on top of another data or data that defines another data is known as metadata. So for example, if my name is Sam or uh, you know your name is uh, uh, Mark or Ravi, whatever your name is, the column which has name on the top, right? So you say name on the top, that column is name is the metadata and the data which is Sam, uh, you know, Mark or Ravi, all those three are the data under that metadata. So hope you understand what a metadata is, the headers of a column to define the data. For example, if it's a date, then the date would be the metadata and the date numbers are 1st January, 2nd January, 3rd January, 4th January would be the data types under it. Now, the data again is analyzed by data analyst and the business intelligent analyst. So what is the role of a data analyst or a business intelligent analyst does? It does, number one, it actually takes the data and amalgamates it puts into a centralized container or a data store or what we call as info cube in case of SAP. It, it combines all of those data, whether it's uh, master data, it's transactional data, and uh, if it's configuration data, that's, that's framework data that's kept separately. And uh, mostly if I'm looking at the business intelligence solutions or a BI system, we call in SAP what we call as an info cube, or now we call it as a data sphere and business object we used to call it a data store but functionality wise all of them have same function so he will pick up these master and transactional data the framework data and put it into a central table right which is called as a fact table fact fact table so fact table has uh, the the primary keys and the foreign keys for example as i said in case of name uh, the name would sit in the fact table as a master data and then it would have extension of those data types in another 
table called dimension tables. So we have fact tables and dimension tables uh, which combine and they are put into a, a format or a, or a framework called a schema. Schema is a Greek word uh, and it starts from a schemat schematics kind of area. But scheme means a plot and this is a plot of data and this is called a star schema. Star schema basically has fact table in the center and dimensional tables uh, which are connecting those metadata which belong to a separate table, right? So these go are analyzed by a business intelligence or a data analyst and they are kept in a data store or a data sphere area or an info cube. We traditionally call it as an info cube or the data source itself, right? So why it's called data source or info cube or a data sphere because you pull out data from that and then you generate reports. <clears throat> now the beauty of business intelligence and data analytics person is the data might come from both internal sources and it can come from external sources. For example, I could pull out uh, you know stock market data from uh, NASDAQ. I could pull up uh, <coughs> standard and poor's uh, data from the, the stock exchange there. I could pull up uh, you know, the BSE exchange or Shanghai exchange uh, data from those and I could combine them into a central data source or an info cube or a data store <clears throat> and it does not matter if it's your internal data or external data. So <clears throat> data analyst role is system agnostic, it's process agnostic. That means it does not depend on the system or the process and data type does not differentiate just like money does not differentiate where you get it from. Data type does not differentiate where the data comes from. So that data is put into a central system and it's analyzed and put into a format which is reportable format. Now, inside the data, we can do calculations. We create what we call as calculation views or we create formulas and then we have a flow of data between different uh, data sources and that's called process flow. So we did, we are previously used to call it data flow but it's also known as process flow because it has a logical step of moving from one data store to the another data store or one data object to another data object, so to speak. So we, in terms of uh, SAP, we have info cubes, we have remote cubes, we have virtual cubes, we have multi cubes, right? And we have data stores. So those uh, combined together in a process format and then that process is uh, a process where the data is moved from one uh, data store to the another data store. So that is what a data analyst or a business intelligence analyst will do. Now he pulls those data after calculation and in a lot of cases we do transformation and conversion. So when you put a data into a central data store, you will have to transform and convert using a staging area. Staging area like a kitchen where you change the data either in a data format or you convert the data entirely into a different uh, format. Uh, I explained this in another video again. A lion uh, in US can be called as a cat in Africa and that transformation of bringing a cat and converting into a lion in uh, North America is a data uh, conversion. Right? If I'm changing a date format and I'm putting, uh, instead of a hyphen, I'm putting a period, that is called data transformation. I did explain this in another video, but uh, just to give conceptually, that's what it is. Now, when you pull the data out, you will basically massage, stage the data, and then check the data quality, right? Now, the data conversion and data transformation rules are given by the business, they are business rules. They are not defined by the data analysts. Uh, so if you want to call a uh, cat as a line, it's not defined by us, it's defined by the business. If you want to put a period instead of a hyphen, it's defined by the business. Uh, now, that is the format that the business wants to use. And once we accumulate the data and we check the data quality, it becomes reportable, right? So it's called info source and information source and we pull the data out into a reporting format. So you could use Crystal, you could use Web Excels, uh, you could use Webbies, right? Uh, you could also use uh, what we call as dashboards uh, from SAP as well as external sources, right? You could uh, also design your own reporting tools 
and these can be displayed both in within the system format in terms of the user interface or they could also be displayed on the web. So there you go guys, those are the roles of a data analyst or what we call as a BI analyst. Hope you liked uh, the insight what I gave into this video. Uh, hope this is helpful. If it is, please do like and subscribe this channel and we look forward to giving you more information in future. This is Sam signing off for SAP Careers and Job Seekers Group. Thank you.